So Ed, I was doing a little bit of research, and it seems there's two different lineups of the band, one being yourselves, Major Hooples, and then the other Major Hooples Boarding House. Do you run into a lot of confusion with that? What happened? The original, there was the original, original band was a high school band, and I took the drummer's place, Rick Riddell, and uh, the other two guys that are playing with me, Keith Stahl, the bass player, and Dave, the sax player, came on board after the other original, the original high school band players. Most of them had left the, the group. And it was only myself, uh, or I said Rocky, the lead guy, was the only original, original left from the band days when we had the records out. And we've put the band back, three of us put the band back on the road. Uh, we tried to get Rocky, the original singer, playing with us, but he moved out to Prince Edward Island back about a year ago. So original original band per se, they've got a website, or they've got a Facebook page up, but they're not, like, they're not playing at all. The original band aren't doing anything. The original, there's only three of them left from the original high school band. And, uh... Uh, said Gail, the original uh, keyboard player, thinks she has her own recording studio. So basically, it's the three of us that were in the, you know, when the when the records were on the road, to put the band back together and uh, just out having some fun playing playing some of the old tunes. And what keeps the band motivated? You've been at it for decades. You know what keeps you getting up on that stage? We got back together about a year. We just decided we wanted to, you know, we've all been playing in different venues and different things and just decided to put it back on the road, have some fun. So we've been doing that. Uh, we got some a new record coming out. We'll have a new CD out probably, I'm guessing, September, October. So we've been writing some new original material that we're going to, you know, hopefully put out in the airwaves and see where it goes. Now you've got the show coming up this Friday at the Lakeshore Recreation Center. Do you have anything else planned for the near future? Uh, yeah, we got that one, and then we're playing the following weekend. We're playing at the old Concordant Pavilion uh, on Labor Day weekend. Uh, i got a date book there on Labor Day weekend on the Sunday night. And then we've got a bunch of dates over, you know, starting in the fall again around Kitchener, Toronto. Yeah, so we're just having some fun and playing some of the old tunes.